So here we have a Mercedes Vito W639 client was claiming a problem on the AC. AC doesn't work. So uh, we had to remove the front end completely to see where the problem is. So as you saw it, a little hole in the refrigerant ready. As I didn't pay attention, there is no removal video, only a few pictures that I took, so I could send them via WhatsApp to the client. I forgot to record the removal of the front end and uh, a background view of the install you will see on this throughout this video. The first problem we've encountered throughout this job was that the pipes that are welded on the refrigerant radiator didn't have the right angle so they could get bolt on to the coolant radiator. I had to pull on them to bend them into place. Another stupid thing for a premium aftermarket part. The next problem you will see later in this video.
After I managed to bolt on the refrigerant radiator to the coolant radiator, now it was time for the intercooler. The intercooler bolts on both of them together. There are two plastic bolts that get tightened with a screw on the back side. But there are two openings, two gaps, where this bolt gets slid to slide through it. Uh, these openings are again not in spec. We had to grind them a little bit so they can pass through. Another stupid thing for this aftermarket premium part. It's the second or the third problem. Another bigger problem will be later in the video.
Here we have. So here we have the old coolant radiator, and here is the new one. I don't want to mention the name, but this is our problem. Okay, we need to turn it. Just clicks right point. One, two. Let me click it also. Yes. Yep, it's perfect. It just touches here. It just bended from the years of use. Plastic, you know. But We change it not because it's bad, just because it's old. Yes. And here is the new one. and bend it. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring it closer. Here. See? It's already touching. It's already touching. And the clips are not over The hinge, if I might say so. This is on the most. It needs to go lower, three to four millimeters at least, three four millimeters. This is a new aftermarket premium radiator. It's not allowed to happen something like this. It's just not allowed. And the seller tells us we need to send it on warranty because it's already mounted. It's not already mounted. We didn't mount it. We still have to mount it, but we can't. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. No more aftermarket parts. Following up, I had to talk to the client to decide what we are going to do. New part would arrive only the next day and it would be too late. So, I did make a few cuts, as my client told me, so that the cover can slide into its place and not damage the new aftermarket radiator. I just done it like that and now it fits perfectly. Well, it should have been like that from the beginning. Manufacturer, producer should really hold to the specs, to the length, to the width of the product they bring out on the market. Sorry, but this is the truth. Radiator was a complete mess from this point of view.